Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change a drain hose on a dishwasher. If your drain hose has become damaged and is leaking, it is necessary to replace it. For this video, I'll be using a Garenia built-in dishwasher, but the process should be very similar for other makes and models. So safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to move the dishwasher onto its right-hand side. It's a good idea before you do this to remove the filters and also to dry out the sump with a sponge. Now there may also be some water left in the machine so it's a good idea to keep a towel handy. The drain hose is connected to the drain pump at the bottom of the machine. So the next thing I have to do is to remove the base plate by undoing these four screws that hold it into place. Most dishwashers will have an anti-flood device connected to the base of the machine. In this instance, it's not necessary to remove it as it has long enough wires that I can simply move the device and the base out of the way. And here we have the drain hose connected to the drain pump. What we have here is a manufacturer's clip holding the drain hose in position. This isn't designed to be reused. So as well as purchasing a new drain hose, we also recommend purchasing a 30 millimeter Jubilee clip to replace this clip. But I'll show you how to remove this one. So get a good grip with a pair of pump pliers and work the hose from side to side off the pipe and gently pulling down at the same time. Here we can see a non-return valve that's also come out with the drain hose. This is designed to stop water re-entering the machine. So grab your pump pliers again and gently maneuver that out of the hose and return to the drain pump. The next thing I need to do is to remove the drain hose from the back panel. I need to separate these back panels by undoing the six screws that hold them into place. I also need to undo one of the screws that holds the side panel in to be able to maneuver these back panels out of position. And this is the screw that undoes the side panel which will allow me to maneuver the top back panel away. Now the only thing I need to do is to remove the grommet that holds the hose into place, which separates, as you can see, and pull the drain hose out. With the old drain hose removed, I can now fit the new hose and Jubilee clip. And simply tighten up the Jubilee clip. Next, I need to refit both parts of the grommet and locate back into the back panel. With the grommet in place, I next need to carefully refit the top part of the back panel. Can be quite fiddly, this, but do make sure you're putting it into the correct position. With the back panel in place, I can now screw it back together. With the back panel now secure, I can refit the base. So there we have it, one new drain hose fitted to the dishwasher. Drain hoses and all other parts for dishwashers and other appliances can be found on the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching.